Hey guys, Michael Neal from Dayton, Tennessee on the banks of Lake Chickamauga. I want to highlight three techniques for the springtime to help you catch trophy sized bass. The first one is a jerk bait. Everybody thinks they're good with a jerk bait, but there's some really fine lines between being good with it and just getting a few bites. And line size to me is one of those really deciding factors. You've got to use light line. 10 pound sniper is always my go to. And if you've got a guy in the boat that's throwing something bigger, like 14 or 16, and a guy throwing 10, that can be the difference between catching 10 fish or catching none. And the line size does two things it's going to help your bait get deeper while you're working it, and it's going to allow you to make a little bit longer cast. And when the water's real cold and the air temperature is cold, also, you're going to have less freezing of your line with a little bit smaller diameter. And that's why I like the 10 pound sniper, is just to get that little bit of extra depth, you're going to be fishing around targets mostly, whether it's a break, a point, a stump, a rock pile, something that's just a little bit different, or even using forward facing sonar to chase suspended fish around bait, but a jerk bait, 10 pound sniper, that's my go to when the water is anywhere from upper 30s and the 40s, somewhere around that 50 degree marks when that bite's going to start waning off, and that's when the lipless bite comes in. And this is really big on Chickamauga, really anywhere on the Tennessee River, but just a lipless rattling bait. And something I do a little bit different, a lot of guys are crazy about red, and yes, red catches a lot of fish. This is a spring crawl pattern, something with a little chartreuse in it, give them a little bit different look. The water's often dirty that time of year. We're usually getting those March rains, and it's just going give to you, give you a few more bites, give you a little bit different option. And line size on this is very important too. It's going to control your depth that the bait is going to be able to actually get down and dive and work. You're going to want a line size that you can fish up shallower if you need to, that two to three foot range, or something you can slow it down and get in that five or six foot range also. And that's when I like 16 pound Sunline Sniper. It's my go-to for any lipless bait. And you can yo-yo it on this. You can make a super long cast. It's not gonna take all your spool up. And it's just a great all around line size. And when you do that, if you need to tweak it a little bit, you can go down. If you wanna throw a, a quarter ounce bait, you can go down to 12. If you wanna throw a bigger bait, 16 is still great for that also. But just a 5 8 ounce is a great all around on 16 pound sniper chasing grass lines, chasing a little bit of breaking fish that time of year, or just covering the big flats. But whatever it is, covering a lot of water, catch a lot of fish and a lot of big fish on a lipless bait on 16 pound sniper. And last but not least, when you get into the spawn, you've gotta to, got to slow down a little bit. You've gotta fish a little bit finessier. By this point, the fish have seen a lot of baits. Any lake in the country is gonna have a lot of pressure, but Chickamauga does, especially because it's known for these giant fish. And that's when I like a shaky head. Uh, and that's just a bait that you can throw down the bank. You can fish out on points where they're staging, where they're coming to to spawn, where they're leaving the beds, going away from it. And when that water temperature gets up there around the 60 degree mark and stabilizes at night, that's when the shaky head's really gonna shine. Uh, my favorite way to fish it is just out on bars and staging places where a few fish will spawn, but mostly where they're gonna stage around. They don't like to chase stuff that time of year, and that's why that really shines. But the eight pound Sunline Shooter, the shooter's a little bit more abrasion resistant than the sniper, that's why I go with that. I would like to go a little bit smaller, but when you've got the chance at a double digit fish on Lake Chickamauga, eight pounds is a great line size. You can land a lot of big fish on that, get a ton of bites, somewhere between an eighth and a, a 3 16 ounce shaky head, depending on the depth you're fishing. But make sure you check all these out from Sunline. You've got one connection between you and every single fish that you catch, and that is your line. So make sure you have the confidence in it to get that big fish in the boat. All these options are available from Sunline.